I asked Alessandro Bernardi to do a video on the uses, the creative uses of the MMM action based on his experience in the fashion industry. As you know, the MMM action tries to put in variation in color and in luminosity based on a selection that the user defines. Sometimes that selection is it's pretty obvious what to do, or else it may make no difference what area is selected. In other cases, it's very important indeed. And the, the places where it's really important is where the interpretation of the picture is not really obvious. Um, we know that there's a lot of difference in opinion in the fashion industry on how to proceed. And people have strong likes and dislikes. For example, in the United States, there is this trend that I've always hated of having models with really plastic skin that don't show any of the details found in normal human skin. I noticed that in Italy, this, the, the trend doesn't seem to be the same, that there is more and more of a trend toward realistic uh, skin. On the other hand, in Italy, there seems to be this trend towards having uh, models appear as ghosts, that it, or better, better yet, as, as victims of vampires, because uh, Count Dracula has visited them and drained yes. them of all their blood, so their skin is absolutely snow white. I hate that too, but there are some people who like it. Um, unfortunately, what can happen is that the photographer takes a picture from one point of view, and then the art director has a different point of view, and the advertiser has a third point of view, and they all argue, and they all can tell us what they don't like, but what they can't tell us is what they do like, which is where this comes in. So anyhow, with that introduction, I'd like to start uh, by introducing Alessandro, and I see that what you have up on the screen is yes. a really classic <clears throat> case that doesn't call for a whole lot of interpretation. Yes, uh, this is a typical case in which uh, the MMM comes uh, very useful. Uh, we have an image dominated by one single color and it's obvious that we want to see more difference between the stag and the background. So as a selection is required, I can lasso uh, this area and push the MMM button. And of course, we must have an LAB file. We are now yes. in RGB, so I can press continue. And you, you can turn that alert off, you know, the, with the MMM panel. Yes, 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 I have a preference for doing that. Yes. And now the result is uh, that we have a much more difference between the, the stag and the background as we want, wanted to have. But uh, the MMM effect is uh, split in two layers, luminosity and color. And luminosity is also very useful, for example, because in some cases I am going to show you that the, the luminosity is uh, very effective, not so much um, like the MMM color. In yes. this case, I think that the, the best combination is having both turn yeah, on. May, maybe the, the, the stag is too red here, so you could cut opacity, yes? Yes, 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 I can cut the opacity and turn down just a little bit for 20% or sure, something sure, like this. Okay. So this is the original and this is the MMM version and we have a better version. Or in cases like this, for example, where we have a, a single color that cover a very large area and we want to see more variation. In this case, it's also obvious which kind of selection we have to do because we don't want to select the sky because yes. it's uh, uh, already very well differentiated from the, from the rocks uh, and so I can lasso this area. But you don't have to be careful because you could, you could uh, lasso almost any part of these rocks yes, and get the same yes. results. Yes, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, okay. So it's very obvious and fast to apply MMM, like uh, doing a selection without uh, being so careful and then push a button and then you have this. In many cases, uh, uh, for example, some of my students are so fascinated uh, with this variation, color variation, that they try to do that. Oh, the they want to see much yes. more, yes, uh, you know, some, something like HDL stuff, and they get a very saturated sky, and we, we can avoid that, of course, uh, and uh, select the mask of the MMM color layer, and at this mask uh, we can apply, for example, the a channel that is dark in the blue areas, right like the B beam, channel, yeah. and we want uh, as we want to pr preserve the original mask, we can use this in dark mode, of course, and press OK. And in this, uh, this is before, and this is after, and now we have a better image, of course. We do, and and but because the selection was obvious, it would seem like the uh, the viewer would either say, okay, this is not enough, or this is too much, yes. but not some third option. Yes, these are the typical cases for MMM. But in other cases, 
uh, that I I have investigated, the selection is not so obvious because then, uh, then it becomes artistic interpretation. Yes, and this is uh, what I call creative MMM. In images like this, uh, this is a stock image, for example. Uh, it's very clear what the photographer tried to do, but sometimes I receive uh, this kind of images, and the art director say, "I don't agree with the photographer choice." So try something to to change the image and make but it. But he doesn't uh, tell you what. No, okay. <laughs> that's the usual Slight question. Problem. Yes, okay. Yeah, it's a small problem. So I have to to find out a way to satisfy my client, and the client doesn't know. Uh, what he wants, so I try, and I found that creative uses of MMM uh, are very interesting. I'm going to show you. Of course, I have to use the, the new enhancement to the panel. That the I, MMM. Yeah, instead of pressing the MMM button, I can press the Alt key, yes, and then the push the MMM button. Now, this is this going to is result in a lighter picture because yes. the, 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 the picture will move in the opposite direction of your selection, and the, a select all is selecting a lot of dark stuff. Yes. So, okay. Yes. And I would say this is a quite good result. This is the original, oh, and yes, this okay. is a yeah. It's a, a kind of uh, gives me a sensation of uh, like a painting, you know. Yeah, moves the woman away from the darkness. Okay. Yeah, but I maybe this is not the best result I can get. So I do. I try a different selection, something like this. Yeah, that's going to make the image green, but let's see. Let's yeah, and so I ex um, maybe this will push the image green to be more green and... Uh, Easy to find out. Yes, so just rerun yes. the action and this new option will give me a result. This is a select all, okay. and this is the new selection. Mm -hmm. Maybe the client will like this, who knows? Only yes. the client does, yes? Yes. Or I can try some selection based on the lightest part, like here, yes. and see what happens. And I can rerun live and preview the selection. Okay, uh -huh. this is, looks much more like the original Man from Mars yes, image. Uh, yeah, Maybe the client away, won't right. like it. Uh, but I always check. Maybe the client is blind, okay. Yeah, but in this case, maybe this luminosity layer can be useful. Ah, I see, okay. In images like uh, other ones, for example, like uh, this one, here also we have uh, large areas dominated by the same color. So, in this case, for example, I can try select all and then run with the Alt key the MMN action, and this is the first result I get. Warmer, yeah. okay. Yeah, the skin has become much, uh, much more magenta, but I have uh, more green here. So this is very easy to fix. Or I can try something like, uh, for example, uh, I would I would like more detail in the in the dress. So I have I do a second selection here in the lightest part okay. of the dress, and then I rerun the action, which makes a much darker picture as it tries to move yes, away. Yes, yes, and it's okay. interesting as well. Or I can do the same stuff here and uh, something like this. That is. Uh, uh, more or less the same luminosity, but in a slightly different color, and see what happens. And we rerun the action, and then now this is the original. Oh, this is interesting, yes. Yes, inter it's interesting. I mean, uh, uh, you can keep only the luminosity, in this case, uh, or the color, and it's interesting. So I have the option to choose, and this is very important for me, because the client uh, always doesn't know what he wants, you know. So this is the original with select all, and this is the second selection we did, and this is the third selection. Maybe the third one was is the best. Who knows? May you might you can always save two or three different versions, and for example, use the dress from this from the one that you selected second because that one had the best dress, but the rest of the picture was seemed to me to be too dark. Now the woman is very attractive in this version. Yes. So I'm going to click OK. Yeah. Okay. okay. If you were the client, then <laughs> this, is Im this image uh, will be approved uh, instead of this. Uh, I would certainly approve it, uh, or certainly like it better. I might ask you to run the bigger hammer, but uh, okay. whatever. In images <coughs> like this, uh, when we have a very light skin and uh, everything is almost green, uh, I don't know what the clients would like, like uh, maybe more color variation in the dress, so I lasso very quickly the dress. And then I alt click the MMM button, and this is the final version. But now that I have this option to choose, yeah. I can compare. 
I like much more this version, for example, like this, the original, and this is the final version, the MMM version. I still think Count Dracula got this woman. No blood in her at all. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe yes, but in Milan, in fashion, this is very useful. Yes. <laughs> or I can try, for example, a selection on the very light face, just to make you more happy, and rerun the action. No, it's going to make her make the picture too green. I would yeah, say. Yeah, but I, maybe we can keep uh, the luminosity. Maybe and, so. Or, or may, maybe sell, select we, the light greens, which would make her more red. Okay, so we can try this. Uh, for example, here. Yeah. And something else. Uh, that that may be enough. Give it a try. Okay, rerun. Ah, redder face. Yes. Okay. Yes. And maybe in this case, uh, we can avoid the DMMA luminosity. Correct. I like um, this version much more. So we have three versions done very quickly. The original with the, the dress, and the other one with the skin tone selected, and the other one with the light green selected. A lot maybe of difference really in like the dress this. color, yeah. Yes. So I click OK and send to the client. Even in images like this, uh, where there is a sort of uh, mood because we have fog and we have dull colors uh, maybe something can can be useful for example if I want to do introduce much more color variation here in the in the boat I do a very quick lasso and then alt press the MMM buttons and this is the MMM version and this is the original and this is the MMM. Or I can try a different selection. Have you any suggestion? Uh, I don't like the way this came out because behind the cloud I think is too green. So I think this selection is making the whole greenery too green. Possibly if you add to it by selecting some of the green, this may change some of the effect. I don't think you can just select only green, but if you select that and now go in okay. and select some of the green area. Yeah, that's a good suggestion. So let's try what happens. Yeah, because you can make more than a single selection here. Yeah, of okay, course. Okay, see, this is better. This is better, but I would, I would like to try selecting only the green and see what happens. So let's try this. Ah, this is interesting, yes? This, this is, and you can go further because here, here the boat was not so good. So what I would suggest, that your second try was a piece of the green and a piece of the boat and I'm thinking maybe uh, the same piece of the boat but twice as much green. Okay, but so this, this is, is your bigger. last chance because we have only four tries. Okay, do so? I have to pay extra for more? <laughs> no, really not. So maybe something like uh, this as much? Yeah, and you can always grab a, a third area somewhere. Okay, like yeah, this? Like this, yes. Okay, okay let's try. Run. Yeah, this is, um, I consider this a meat version. Okay. So, let's do, compare everything. The original selection, the boat. This was uh, the boat and the greenery. And this is uh, only the greenery. And this is the boat plus twice the greenery, like you suggested. Yes. What do you, which one do you like more? Uh, well, I guess I will probably take this last one, and I will pretend that I'm Italian, and I say, I pay you next year. <laughs> okay. Let's see what happens on a different kind of image. Okay. Like this, when we have clothing uh, and whatever. So maybe we can in, uh, introduce some color variation here in the fur. In the fur, if that's yes. what you're selling. Okay. I never know before. I have to try. And I see. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. And with this option gives me the flexibility to experiment with. So this is the original. And this is the MMM version. Okay, and it's pushed the, the skin tone toward red. Okay, this is... Yeah, we can try something like a uh, uh, very Italian fashion uh, mood. I see, I see. Uh -huh, something around the red, so we will have more green. Let's try this. I know that you will disagree. Oh, maybe no, this, not. This is not so bad, no. <clears throat> to get the, If you're trying to get a really light flesh tone, you could select the black, the, 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 uh, the leather. And yeah. that, will, that will push the woman's face lighter. Okay, let's try this, plus this, yeah, and this like we did before, yes? Okay, yeah, that should, okay. should make for lighter skin. Yes. 
Not so much. Well, if you select more of the black. Okay. You know, Last so, try. <laughs> so sorry. There you go. And this plus this. Okay. And we run for the last time. Let's see what happens. Mm. Yes. Okay. Maybe this is the best version. Yes. Perhaps. Anyway, this was the original and this is the MMM version. Okay. So every time is uh, much more interesting and gives uh, possibi new possibilities. Or on images like this one. Oh God. Oh yes, this is a very typical beauty retouch. This so very a, light oh, skin, yeah, yeah. Uh, pale uh, skin tone. And uh, I don't know, maybe the photographer wanted to, to, to do that, but the art, direction, the art director disagree, or maybe the client disagree. The client doesn't know. But none, none of them think the woman should have a nose? <laughs> okay, for example, I can start to, to select the hair and see what happens. Okay. If I run EMMN plus the alt. Oh, okay, wow. that's interesting. Yes. I mean, uh, maybe it's not the, the best skin tone I've ever seen, but maybe I can keep the color. Sure. And this is much more interesting, you know. Yes, okay. Or I can select uh, the hair uh, plus uh, what do you want to select? Uh, some, some if, you, if you select that, it's going to make the skin tone yellower, so that might work. Okay, so let's see if it works. That's nice. I don't think uh, the luminosity can be useful no, in this case. No, not usually. Yeah. And let's see. This is the first version, and this is the second version. Mm, okay. Almost the same. And I or uh, I would like to try something like uh, selecting the eye. Selecting the eye, okay. And see what happens. All right. Okay, we run. Hmm. Sounds nice. Maybe, okay, before and after, and I can push this further. Yeah. Or doing something. Possibly select uh, the. This. Select a very light skin underneath the eye. I think the, the lips is maybe not that good. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking select the, the lighter area that is to the right of the nose. Here? Yes. Let's uh, see what e happens. Even, even the lighter area than that. More Move the selection a little to the right. Mm hmm. There we go. Okay, that's a very light area now. Okay, okay. let's see what happens. Sure. Mm, I okay. don't like so much the luminosity, but anyway, the color is better, yes? Yes, okay. And this is the original, and this is the MMM version. Right. And Once again, we have the four version in very <coughs> few minutes, and we can yeah. choose from. In images like this, uh, where we have a, uh, already the color variation, because we have uh, the C behind the skin tone, so I don't know, maybe I can start selecting this and try to see what happens. I don't know. Okay, this is the MMM version. And this is the original. Okay, in this case, maybe the skin tone is uh, uh, too much uh, colorful. I like uh, maybe some, oh, that's interesting. Uh, what if I select uh, like the, the other uh, image with, with the woman, with the light dress, uh, this area, I don't know. So I can run the action very quickly. Ah, okay. Okay, so we have much more detail in the, in the dress. And uh, we can tr decide if we want to keep the color uh, layer and, or only the luminosity layer or something in the middle. Anyway, I have different options to choose. And click OK and send to the client. Or in images like this. This is very uh, common, I would say, because the photographer here it's very clear that I wanted the sort of green cast. Remember, all these images are stock images, and so they are supposed to be finished, done, delivered to the clients. So what I would like to do here is to select the background and the hair and see what happens. So again, I'll click MMN. Yeah, this is nice. Maybe the skin is too light, so I will, like, I will keep only the MMN color. And uh, as is very saturated, maybe change this from color mode to U mode to reduce the saturation and introduce only hue variation. And I can push this even further. So this is before and this is after. Maybe this is skin tone much more like the one you like? Mm -hmm. Yes.
Yeah, I'm okay, not a big so. fan of green skin tone, except in the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Or in images like this, uh, this is a very complex image. So what I can do here, I don't know. Maybe I can try selecting the sky and see what happens. Alt-click, MMM, and then mm -hmm. take some decisions. Okay, not too bad, I mean. This is the original, and this is the MMM version. Well, one thing you might try doing is, is turning off the mask on the MMM color layer with a shift click, because hmm. that, that mask prevents neutrals from changing. Yes. And maybe here we want a sky. The sun seems to be blue. That's no good. But I'd mask out the blue, but the rest of the sky has gotten very interesting. Yeah, but you have to remember that in creative stuff, there's nothing to be considered really correct or incorrect. It depends from the taste of the client. Well, so. you, no, usually the client says there, there are two ways, the way that I like and the wrong way. But um, <laughs> Anyway, uh, you see the sort of psychedelic version, maybe this version won't be approved by an, any client, so I can turn back off on the, the mask and try a different selection, like uh, uh, selecting the dress of the model and rerun mm, it's going to turn the action. Green. Yeah, and I have a green cast, so it's a much more colder image. Yeah, because you selected a purple object is why. Right? Yes, okay. yes, of course. And what, I, what if I, I try to make a selection like this, partially uh, yellow and neutral? Let's see what happens. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the original, and this is the MMM version. So I think that uh, uh, the modern man from Mars, or the MMN, like we call him, uh, it's a, a tool, a very powerful tool that can give us uh, creative uh, options uh, to experiment with. And I like it very much uh, to, because it gives me the possibility to quickly uh, make different versions. Uh, and uh, knowing more or less the taste of the client, I can decide uh, if uh, maybe he will like a version or not. So, and this is uh, something that came up uh, in a different way from your techniques. Yes. Okay, very interesting presentation. Thanks, Al. Thanks to you.